A few quick tips on nutrition accuracy. Really important to know that we are where we say we are and that we're being accurate in terms of our calories, as well as our macronutrients, our protein, carbs, and fats, protein being the main one. And we're hitting those targets for the day, okay? Okay, here's how we track a meal or snack with multiple ingredients. So to do that, we're gonna add our saucer on. We'll zero it out. And I'm gonna make some contents, a nice light snack. So we'll add that on and I'm gonna scan the barcode. Okay, so we've scanned the barcode. Now we've got serving sizes here. They got three pieces for 18 grams and so on. I like to go to the grams. So one gram and go accurately off how many grams we've got measured here. So in this case, we've got 14. Okay. We're gonna add some honey. Right, so we zero out. Drizzle some honey on top. Cool, and we got 10 grams of honey. Again, we're gonna scan the barcode, adjust the serving size, and set it to 10 grams. And there you go. We've got a snack measured accurately. Okay. So usually where we trip up is things like this. We've got oil and we put it in the pan. We don't think much of it, but one gram of oil or one milliliter of oil here is equivalent to nine calories. It can easily draw off your calories for the day. Okay. So to be accurate with this, measure how much oil you're using. Okay. Uh, other, other things we trip up on is sauces. We don't measure how much sauce we've put in. We tend to just drizzle it on, but we want to measure this as well. And things like peanut butter, Nutella, whatever, whatever your choice is, things in a jar like this, we're going to measure how much we're using as well as what's on the spoon. If you're using a spoon, okay, we tend to eat the spoon after, but what's on the spoon also adds up and adds to the calorie count. Okay. So to measure these, I'm just gonna show you with our scale here. So we'll get a scale on. We'll add the bottle, we'll zero it out. And got a nutrition tracking going on. So zeroed, got a pan. So we'll add just a bit, knowing that oil has a lot of calories, so we'll use it sparingly. Put it back on. We measured with the cap, so we'll put the cap back on. We can see the difference. Okay, we've got three grams there. So we use three grams of oil. Okay, so that's one example. The other is peanut butter. This time we can do it without the cap. Place it on the scale, zero out. Okay. Now we're gonna scoop out how much peanut butter we're gonna have. And that's 19 grams, All right? And we can use this, we can eat it, <laughs> however so, but that way we're more accurate with how much we're eating, all right? So there you go. Be accurate with your ingredients, make sure you track everything, and th therefore you'll know you're within your calories and you're hitting your protein targets for the day.